This video was sponsored by Grammarly. Now, I'm just saying, it would have been better if they went with May the Mass times Acceleration be with you. Yeah, it rolls right off the tongue. Or at least, May the Derivative of the Momentum Vector with respect to time be with you. What if instead of the Circle of Life, it was the Mandelbrot Set of Life because of how chaotic life can be? You know, it actually wouldn't be possible to do this in outer space. The writers got this so wrong. Okay, I'm gonna say that door's roughly 25 square feet, and then Jack can't be more than like 6 feet tall, right? So, it actually wouldn't be that hard to make a time travel device. Ha! <laughs> Guess the laws of physics went out the window for that scene, right? I'm just saying, if I was alive back then, I could have cracked Enigma. Will hunting kind of reminds me of myself, you know? See, if I had that money, I'd probably be more like a combination of Iron Man and Batman. I really like how this movie makes use of quantum tunneling. It's magic, okay? This is platform nine and three quarters. It's how you get on the Hogwarts Express. I don't think JK Rowling was trying to implement quantum physics topics into the Harry Potter world. Okay, then explain why you can't know the exact position and velocity of the golden snitch at the same time. Where are you getting that? Seems pretty uncertainty principle to me. Oh my god. And then you got Moaning Myrtle, who's both alive and dead at the same time. I mean, maybe she is Schrodinger's cat as a pet, right? Does it hurt to reach this far? And the fog in the Forbidden Forest is kind of like the electron cloud. Just stop talking! So which programming language does the Matrix use? I don't know. Is the Matrix invertible? What? Because they didn't mention the determinant. Oh, is that the big reveal at the end? Are you saying words right now? So why is Neo the one? Because he's the one. Why not the sine squared plus co- SHUT UP! Appa shouldn't be able to fly. It's a cartoon. Based on the weight and cross-sectional area, I'm just saying Appa can fly when pigs fly, you know? But like, not when a bunch of dudes can bend earth and air with their mind. No, well that's part of the show. I mean, it's a cartoon. Oh my god. No way. What now? He was just like 30 meters away from her. And based on his velocity relative to hers, can you watch the movie? Can you explain his position as a function of time? Length contraction. So you're saying that when the camera cuts off of him that he starts moving at such a high velocity that relativistic effects have to be taken into account? Yes. Well, that makes sense. So I'm supposed to believe. Yes, you are absolutely supposed to believe that those balloons can lift that house. It's totally realistic. I recreate it in a physics lab. You were absent. You wouldn't know. I did miss a few days. Okay, so here's my issue with this movie. Here we go. We all know that V equals IR, right? Kill me now. And let's assume a typical bolt of lightning is around 300 million volts. Now, what would you say the resistance of Thanos is? Seven. That's what I was thinking. So, based on my calculations, he should be dead. You know how much current Thanos can withstand? See, if you're gonna have a movie about a bunch of superheroes fighting a purple alien thing in space, at least make it somewhat realistic. Oh, don't say it, don't say it, don't say it, don't say it, don't say it. Are you really not going to acknowledge how unrealistic that was? Well, he has family, so I mean, it makes sense. Oh my god. So by using our initial conditions and then solving the system of equations, then taking the limit as pi approaches infinity, it is clear that this right here is a funny guy. If I give you 20 bucks, will you stop talking? But then how do I do my Grammarly sponsorship? How about you don't? Thank you to Grammarly for sponsoring this video. Uh, where did my movie go? And why is my voice muffled? Grammarly is an all-in-one writing tool that enables you to effectively communicate your ideas concisely and in the right tone. Grammarly does a lot. Like, it'll fix unclear phrases and revise wordy sentences, adding clarity where needed. But it can also do things like detect tone and change your wording to convey your message in maybe a more professional or confident way. And it's all done with the click of a button. So whether it's an essay for class or you're writing an email to a coworker, Grammarly ensures that your writing is professional and that your reader understands everything as you intend it. And since online communication can easily get misinterpreted, having a tool like this honestly makes me much more confident when sending an email, especially for business or work purposes. I never have to worry about rambling in my email, hard to read sentences, and if I need to sound assertive, for example, like when trying to secure sponsorships for the channel, Grammarly can transform the tone of the email to precisely that. Then it's totally free to download the desktop app, which works with Gmail, Slack, Discord, and plenty more, so it very easily integrates with the platforms you use most. Now Grammarly has a free and premium version, but premium is where those advanced features are. You'll get upgrades such as tone adjustments, clarity-focused sentence rewrites, and even detects plagiarism, so that's where you're really going to optimize your writing and time. 
So get through emails quicker and your work by keeping it concise, confident, and in the right tone with Grammarly. Go to Grammarly.com slash Zachstar to sign up for a free account and get 20% off Grammarly Premium today to help you work more efficiently. You can play the movie now. Just try not to talk too much and try to pay attention. Oh my god.